Hey fellas, welcome to my playthrough of Valley of Shadows. I know what you're probably thinking, man, I am so thirsty, but it's alright because I have an Arizona iced tea, only one, so I guess we'll have to share. Uh, let me get that open. Oh yeah. God, I haven't had one in like a year. <sighs> what flavor is it? Whichever your favorite one is, since we're sharing it and all. Anyway. I, uh, I received this game through an email that was sent to me yesterday? I don't know, I was at work, and I like, grabbed my phone and I saw this random spam email with a Steam key. So, you know, obviously I'm gonna trust it 100%, and uh, now we're playing it. So, I guess a quick update would be that I feel a hell of a lot better than I did a couple months ago. And I have a ton of things that I'd like to share with you, but it feels like I'm going to have to do that over the course of several videos just because it's so much and I'm not going to do a weird update video. I'm just a Let's Player. Oh god, I, I don't even know why I called myself a Let's Player. Oh, anyway, uh, let's, not, uh, let's not focus on that. This is a game called Valley of Shadows, and I'm like... 95 oh shit i started it whoops i'm like 95 percent sure this is a horror engine game on unreal engine not hating just stating the facts pretty cinematic so far james you seem a little confused all right Oh. Today was a rough day. My car broke down. I... How do you know my name? Oh, I know a lot about my passengers. By the way, according to my rules, payment for the trip is made in advance. Are you deaf? Oh, sure. Are you the Grim Reaper? Haven't had a downpour like this in a while, have we, James? Oh, God. This downpour has taken me forever to drive home. The family must have already waited for me. Family is our light in the dark. But sometimes darkness can help us see the light more brightly. I'm not sure I understand. Everything will fall into place, James. Here we are. You know, you remind me of a certain black postman. And there's a downpour in that one, too. You are speaking in riddles, and I would not have paid you. Not even a penny. No tip. <coughs> oh. Arizona time. Oh yeah, so, I don't think this is meant to be, but, uh, they up- The house is further away. Why did you stop here? Your journey is not over yet, James. It is a path that you must go through alone. Oh, well, that's very fucking nice of you, taxi. Okay, so we're playing. Oh, this feels pretty smooth. Yeah. Yeah, this is Unreal Engine. Yeah, this is Horror Engine as well. Oh, 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 yeah, absolutely. I mean, come on. Uh, but anyway, what was I saying? Damn, what was I saying? I don't even remember. I am out of practice. You'll have to forgive me. Ugh, that was loud. I was gonna make a really funny joke. That's all you. Service. How on earth did this taxi driver get hired? Why haven't you're you can't the house is at the far end of the street, so I need to hurry to avoid getting drenched. <laughs> Neither of you can have jobs, technically. You can't complain about not being hired when you're an AI. Both of you are. Press shift to walk faster. Oh, I know a way to go real fast. Oh right, that's that's what I wanted to talk about. So this is a Steam game that is releasing in about 12 hours. And I thought that I would upload this a little bit earlier just to uh, let the developer know that you can turn on command, command control. You can open up the command line and do some pretty awesome shit. Which I don't think I'll need to do, but my weapon is there just in case. So, maybe you might want to, uh, fix that before releasing the product in approximately 11 hours. I like the shader a lot. 
I don't know. Alright, let me get away from this. Is that a two-dimensional sound in my Unreal Engine game? I've had enough of this. Alright, stop hating. It's it's too soon to hate. Uh is this my house? I don't think that they are waiting for me today. So it is my house? James, you are really confusing. I think I know exactly which asset this is. There's a guy there, let's go talk to him. This is like residential street. Hey Paul, not the best weather today, huh? Fuck you, James. <laughs> You're the asshole, dude. You're walking around Friends during a work. storm. After moving here, our communication faltered. Oh. I think he's jealous of our better house. James, are you secretly not a good person? I'm starting. I'm kind of convinced that maybe you might have some things in your past that you feel guilty about. We can't have that happening. Not in this downpour, okay? I don't think that they are waiting for me today. Okay, gotcha. I, I think maybe our house is like a really big house or something. And I hope the audio is good. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't. Uh, I haven't really been home in quite a long time. So this is. Uh, this is me on my laptop with a headset, which sounds pretty good, in my opinion. I can't believe this is an $80 headset. This is crazy. It's not, you know, the awesome audio technica, but it is awesome. Here we are. Let's see what we say in my diary. I'm already near the house. Sarah and Catherine must have already been waiting for me. Whoa. So I'm assuming Sarah is our wife and Catherine is our little girl. Huh? Someone left a videotape on the doorstep. <laughs> Did they, James? I wonder what it could be. 19 December 1984. My fifth birthday. Oh, shoot. Interesting. Shit, I forgot my keys in the taxi. Oh no, wait, what were you you playing around with, with your keys in the taxi? You were juggling? How do you do that? Hello? Damn, that tree scared the shit out of me. Ah, this is pretty nice. Can I walk on water? No. Basketball? No, dude. I wanted to see if I could start a basketball minigame. Okay, you could click it and it'll bounce, but you can't grab it. So, automatically a 5 out of 10. So far. A horror game without a basketball minigame. I mean, what are you doing? There should be a spare key hidden in the backyard here. Huh. Alright. Damn. Terrible hiding spot, but alright. House key. Compatible with both doors. Door backyard has been unlocked. Complete darkness. <laughs> where is the switch? It's your house! What do you mean, where is the switch? Hello, Sarah? Catherine? Is there anyone at home? I am thoroughly impressed by the voice actor. No one is at home. I need to call Sarah. Find out where they are. Dude, they died in a horrific accident. Or maybe not an accident, but it was definitely your fault. And I'm making that uh, call right now. Ooh. No, 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 no. I want that. Nice, dude. Well, the car is here. Oh, shit. The TV in the garage. 
Can I open this? No. Alright, nobody in the back seat. No dead wife in the back seat. Clear. I'll open that for later. What is that? Oh, I can call, right. Does not pick up the phone. <laughs> That's what I say. Strange. They should be at home in this mysterious videotape. There should be a VCR in the garage. I hope it still works. I mean, you have it hooked up, man. <laughs> it's not like it's in a box or something. It's it's like it's like the focus of the garage, it feels like. Oh, this is pretty scary. Damn. No light switch down here, or...? Well, that'll come in handy soon, I think. Nice little breaker box. Oh, there is light. <laughs> Kinda. Alright, well, let's not waste any time. Let's get on over there. Let's watch the tape of our fifth birthday. This is some pretty high definition for VHS. It's also filmed at like a YouTube what? shorts resolution. I don't know, but this isn't is my this... Parents, my is my this you? How did it get here? What a waste of film. Pick up a phone. Any phone? Mosh mosh. Hello. Who is this? I don't like this at all. I need to check the rooms in the house. Maybe there is some trace somewhere. Something strange is happening. The videotape contained recordings from my childhood. Sarah and Catherine are not at home in this strange call. I don't like it at all. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I don't like it at all. I need to check the rooms in this house. Maybe I can find some trace. You don't like it all, dude? There's not a single facet of this in which you might like a little bit of it? That makes sense. What the hell is that? It's like a floating. All of Catherine's clothes are missing from the closet. Oh, it's a clue. Batman's on the case. I mean, it doesn't take a genius, right? Your family left you, dude. It's over. In a few more months, there will be a new addition to our family. Mm, that's optimistic. Is this my room? Office key. Dude, what the hell? Oh, okay. That was pretty clever. I like that. Dude, don't you hate rooms with multiple doors? That shit freaks me out so much. An ultrasound. Image showing the health and gender of Sarah's unborn child. It's a boy. Uh, what does that say? Let's call him... Freak? Frank? Okay. <laughs> like my grandfather? No way, smiley face. <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Mess in the bedroom. Oh, is this the office? Whoops. The office is a secluded room in the house? Strange. 
strange the laptop won't turn on. Dude, it's the taxi hey, guy. Doing? Are you insane? You better get out of here before I get to you. <laughs> James? It is I. I forgot the taxi driver's name. Uh the strange the strange taxist. <laughs> Breaks my window. I have to deal with him. Maybe he is somehow involved in the fact that my family is missing. I'm with you on this one, James. It's gotta be him. He's still out there, dude. What a freak. Oh, the mirror in the bathroom is cracked. And I'm not talking Fortnite. Let's get down there. Get over here, ya bitch. Oh, he's gone. I gotta unlock the door with the key from inside. That's crazy. Ah, where'd he go? Where did he go? Hey, why is the mailbox open? Oh. If he didn't call that out, I never would have figured it Damn, out. I'm gonna be honest. Tape. Well, I mean, I'm, I gotta watch it. I can't just call the police. Power outage. I need to check the fuse box in the basement. Check the fuse box in the basement. Someone is mocking me. I need to find the fuse. He pulled out the fuse? What a guy. He is mocking me. Wouldn't it be really funny if the light still worked? I think I might have missed something just now, but it's alright. I mean, it would be in the garage, right? I would hope. Ooh. Me, Sarah, and Catherine when we moved to this house. Days spent in this house. The day we moved, uh, 2009? I can't really read that. Oh, I can zoom. The day we moved into this house, 10th of March, 2007. Lore. Where is that fucking thing? Uh, fuse. Sarah's car is here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, James, it is. Hey, the lights are still on outside. We must be using the neighbor's power. Is it in here, in the club? I meant to say crib, but we're just gonna go with that. Out here in the club, dude? That's a giant rock, dude. He threw that from the road? He's a marksman. Rock slinging taxist. I mean, I feel like I've searched everywhere. Um, I'm scared. Okay. We're good. Wait, blood? Blood. Signs of a struggle. God, what happened here? I mean, they punched the mirror. I'm not sure that's a sign of a struggle. Damn, damn, damn. Um, where haven't we checked? I mean, I guess we could check, like, right outside. Let's go do that. Fucking doors. They don't make them like they used to. There's no way we can watch the VHS tape to figure out where the fuse is, right? I mean, that would be not okay. What is this? An unfinished can of cola. 
Catherine never cleans up after herself. Oh, that's so wholesome, man. What a time to remember something like that. No fucking way. Give me that damn thing back. Our wedding date is on it. June 1998. Okay. Is this really gonna play? It's really gonna play. Wow. This is our wedding, our huh? Our wedding, our honeymoon, our daughter's birth, moving here. Ah, man, a lot happens in a year. What does he want from me? Maybe the neighbors across the street saw something suspicious. Hmm. What year is this? I wonder. Something strange is happening. The light in the house of the neighbors across the street is on. Maybe I can find out from them if they saw anything suspicious. I like it. Let's do it. I mean, who wouldn't just call the police at this point, right? But it's clear we're not dealing with, uh, physical entities, you know? This isn't really humanity that we're dealing with. Is this not the front door? Is anyone at home? Hello? The lights are on, but no one is answering. Dude, the lights are on, but no one's home? Have you seen my wife? Hey, I know you're home. <laughs> Dude, they're throwing a party. It's fine. Help me. Why are you ignoring me? Damn, they really got it all covered up. Who are these people? I don't know. Something is happening. Something is happening <laughs> with me. And who are these people in the windows? I have to figure out what's going on. People in the windows? What is this man talking about? James is a goner, dude. Okay, well, I mean... What, what else am I supposed to do here? Uh, do I throw a rock through their window? I guess I'll just go home. Right? Ah. Jesus. Is anybody here? What? Is anybody here? A radio and some board appeared in the house. Here? Someone is trying to contact me. A board? Like a Ouija board? They were preparing for dinner, but it never started. Master of Mysteries. Find all clues. Achievement unlocked. Okay. So where's this radio? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. I mean, wouldn't this kind of... <sighs> James. James, what are you thinking, man? Is anybody here? Is anybody is anybody is any is anybody is anybody is anybody here? Fuck it. Oh shit, this is kinda cool. Move cursor, WASD, confirm character, enter, clear message backspace. Uh, well, let's do Sarah, I guess? Not Sarah G. Give me the H. Okay. And then... 
exit right mouse button? Wait. Oh no. Uh, what are they? Okay. What exactly am I looking for here? Someone marked today's date on the calendar, but for what? Uh... Dude, they scrambled everything up. Alright. Maybe I can find a clue upstairs? I think I'm I think I'm trying a little too hard here. I don't really think there's much in the way of a clue. Maybe Frank. Uh Bathroom? Toide. That's that's the extent of my Japanese knowledge. Uh Is anybody here? Oh, I see. This is asking me a question. So, I just have to say yes. How many years have you lived in this house? Um <laughs> I don't even know what year it is now. So this is apparently the day we moved uh, into this house and it's 2007 March. Today's date is what? March 2009, so two years. It has been two years, a big two years. What else do you want to know, bitch? What did you want to name your son? Come on, bro. Big Frank. I can't see. Terrible lighting. Uh. Frank. Uh. A B C D E F G H J K L M N O. Oh, there it is. Frank, uh... Anything else? Oh, shit. I'm cool where I am. I'm good. Was I not supposed Dad, what's happening here? I don't know. Some incomprehensible nightmare is happening in the house. I need to run away from here. I agree. Let's get the fuck out of here, dude. They're not expecting me to leave... Through the back door? Ay, ay, ay. The garage? <laughs> I'm knocking on it. Um, the window upstairs? I mean, why would we go up here? Hello? Fuck out of here. <laughs> Dude, come on. Ooh! Alright. Alright. Um, maybe. oh no. What was that? What are we looking at here?
Uh, Sarah? Honey, I'm home. Aren't you glad James is back? Alright, let's just face the consequences of our guilt. I don't know where, where I don't know where to face the consequences of my guilt. I think the crying is in my head. We have to go back up. Oh, this. This is what it was pointing at, not the radio. Or maybe not? Oh. Candles? Dude, what? for candles now? Hmm. I wish there was like a concrete clue, but... <clears throat> I mean, I think we're just supposed to walk around until the big bad thing happens. Dude, you had this awesome build-up well, just let it end. <laughs> just let it do the thing. What is that? The fuse. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Electricity is enabled. Watch the second tape. Oh no, did I sequence break? I sequence broke the shit out of this game. Yeah, I can't even go over there now. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Why would you put the fuse in a corner where no one will ever find it? Uh, but we're not playing with this shit, so slow-mo, let's say eight? Standing, sir, yeah, yeah. Hey, Paul, some shitty Paul, weather. He's so jealous. Dude. Oh, that's what it was supposed to be. Well, too bad. Nope. Open these here? fucking things. Yes, sir. This makes a whole lot more sense, right? Try. Oh. Well, I guess it is nice to be able to see what's happening, right? Leave my children alone, or whatever. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, shit. There's another one here. Alright, well, we're caught up to where we were, but, I mean, hopefully, whatever we have to do is apparent. Oh, is the knocking supposed to be like a... No, because I can open these, so I can't knock on them. Maybe I have to knock on one of the doors upstairs? I don't think so. <sighs> oh, there it is. Okay, that's one more. Do these activate as you find them? Like, that one didn't exist until I hit these or whatever. Dude, that's totally what's happening. Oh my god. So now there's one here. Am I lighting a candle for all my dead family members? I guess so. We got a lot of them. Um, oh shit, a coffin. Oh, that's actually pretty scary. Mm, no candle around it, though. So it must not be important. <laughs> uh, still no. Other candle. You really have nothing to say about this, James? You're usually so outspoken. The last candle was here. Therefore, it's got to be around here somewhere. Ah. Look at that. Should be it. Aha! Nice. The third videotape. Today's date is written on. <laughs> Are you not even a little bit freaked out right now, James? Like not even a little bit. This guy is good, man. No, give me back my tape. Give me that shit. Okay. So which one is it? Uh, not the wedding date, the third one. Today's date is written on it. Interesting. Oh, play. Alright, let's do this. Dude, I died in the taxi! Are you trying to tell me you died, James? And that the taxi guy was actually the Grim Reaper dude? There's no way that could be true. Well, this is Sarah's car, so... Oh my god. Damn, the family moved on quick. <laughs> Holy shit, James. 
Dude, Sarah did not waste any time. Into the void. Finish the game. Achievement unlocked. What does this have to do with a Valley of Shadows? <laughs> a game by Bad Taste Studios. Oh man, alright. God. There's just, there's so much to unpack here. Okay. Everything in this game is a... Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, because this developer needs to hear this, to understand this, so that he knows. This is not some, like, I'm just hating to hate thing, okay? You, you are like electricity, and not in, like, the good way. You are, it's, you, you took the path with least resistance every single time with this game. Unreal Engine, totally fine. I use it, I love it. No big deal there. But then you use a horror engine template on top of it. You don't customize it at all. So the same diary is in a million other games. It just it just shows that you you didn't care enough to even try to change it. You're not interested in that. You want to tell your own story. All right, totally fine. You want to focus on a narrative? That's cool with me. What is the narrative? The narrative is about a guy called James who had an accident and died and he became a ghost and his guilt or something of dying is is holding him in some kind of purgatory? Why? He's not even a bad guy. Why is this happening to him? He didn't cause the accident, did he? Okay, whatever. Scratch that. Let's just say that the world is evil and God is, is punishing James for being a father of, of a child and presumably another child in a couple months. You decided to tell this story with two AI voice actors and then all the videotapes are AI generated. That's why they're in that portrait shape. So let me just let me just lay it all out. Horror engine template, AI voice actors, AI generated films for the VHS tapes, asset flip stuff. So none of this is actually yours. Am I am I meant to assume that you created the music? I I, I, I sincerely doubt it. So. I'm going to make that dickhead assumption that you didn't make the music either. All right, let's go back. What exactly did you create at all in this game? It wasn't the assets. It wasn't the voices. It wasn't even the VHS tapes. What did you actually create in this game? I'll tell you what you created. You created a by the book, generic, mediocre horror story with your standard generic poltergeist stuff that doesn't even make sense because if his family is alive, there is no one to torture this man. Who, what is the, who is crying? Why are they crying? Who, who are the ghosts? What is, what is punishing James for dying? What did he do? <laughs> and the taxi guy who's delivering him to this purgatory is, is telling him, oh, you basically you'll find out James, you'll get it. But I don't think James understood a fucking thing because I didn't. And it's, you know, it's not like I'm some genius that's supposed to know everything, but uh, there wasn't anything remotely close to a hint as to what is happening. It's just like, here's three VHS tapes. Here are some random dates and a baby's coming and the little girl's clothes are missing and your wife left the room messy and someone punched the window? Are, are you guilty about having like a fight? Like a domestic dispute with your wife? That's normal, that shit happens in every marriage. I mean, don't hit her, you know? But I've like arguments happen, sometimes dudes punch mirrors. I buy a mirror every week. So it's like, what is what is the point of any of it? As a developer, what did you develop? You didn't code a thing because you're just using the template it's provided for you. You're probably part of the Discord like me, so you've downloaded the various community builds that let you do this. Basically what I'm trying to say is, what did you set out to accomplish with this game? There, I, I don't think you set out to achieve anything new. I don't think you set out to create anything unique. So basically you're just like, I want to make a scary game. Well. You did it in bad taste. <laughs> Pun intended. Listen, at least you provided a functional product, which is something that a lot of people can't even do. So I'll give you this. You, you, get, you made a game with a start and end, and I'm proud of you for that. 
But if you want to stand out, if you want to be someone worth admiring eventually, if you care any little bit about legacy, and I talked about this with, um, what's that one guy? 616 Games Studio, the guy that makes like 19 poop killer games. His legacy, everything I said about that guy came true. All his other games don't sell as well as Poop Killer, so now he's making Poop Killer 19 million. That is his legacy. He set out to create horror games, now he makes Poop Killer games, he's Poop Killer guy. Do you really want to be Valley of Shadows guy? Is that really what you see for yourself in your future as a game designer? You don't need to do it, man. You can make a good quality product and be proud of it and make the things in it, I, what you showed me in these VHS tapes, I could grab my phone, set it to 4x3, and just film some random shit around my hotel room. I'd probably go outside and ask somebody to just stand there for me, and then, like, not even record their face or blur it out. And it'd still be more interesting than what you showed me in your VHS tapes. It'd probably even make more sense thematically. At least it'd be in the right ratio for a CRT. Whatever. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my playthrough of Valley of Shadows by Bad Taste Studios. I am back. I'm glad to be back. Uh, and, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be uploading a bit more consistently, and I hate saying that, and then following it up with a video in six months, but I think, I think I'm okay now. I think I could do this again. So, yeah, cool. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Follow me on Twitch. Bitch. <laughs>